Howdy, chaplains. I'm Dave Harvey, president of Cowboys of Christ, and welcome visitors. We appreciate your uh, tuning in with us this afternoon, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, and hope you get something from it, and hope the Lord gets glorified, praised, and honored, and gainful work comes from it. We thank you for that. Uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you so much for this perfect day. The perfect day that you have made is the day that we come before the throne of grace to seek you, seek your wisdom, your anointing, your blessings, your grace and your mercy and, and just your touch. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. We invite you in. We desire your presence, not only in my voice and my words as I, as I uh, teach this session this afternoon and, and, and share and, and, uh, uh, and just, just seek you, Lord God, and seek your will in, in the many different avenues of ministry that we have. And we thank you for your presence. Lord, direct and lead in every uh, word said, and especially, Lord, word, in every word that goes forth, and every word that is received, every word that is heard, and every word that's laid upon the hearts and minds of your children to go out and do your work. Lord, we thank you for that. Bless the chaplains, bless those that want to be and can be, and Bless the works that's going on, and may your perfect and good will be done. And we ask it in the glorious and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior and our King and our God. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, today, I want to share a little bit about the rodeo ministry. We have so many that are so uh, focused on rodeo ministry. And then we have so many that want to be that is just not sure how to get started. And like any ministry... Any any part of serving the Lord, you need to have start with prayer. But also any part of doing anything, you need to be dedicated, you need to be committed, and you need to put forth the effort that needs to be done to do it. You're not going to show up on the rodeo grounds 15 minutes before the rodeo starts and expect to get ministry done. It just is, it does not happen. You're going to have to go develop some relationships, uh, after you have developed these relationships and developed these contacts, and after you have made your presence known in the in the rodeo world, in the rodeo association that you want to, to that you have targeted as your ministry point, then then you can show up a couple hours early, and that's probably sufficient. Maybe we'll you can uh, figure that out as you go. But if you're going to get involved in the rodeo ministry, get involved in the rodeo. Get involved in doing and making contacts, making relationships, and building this, this foundation for your ministry work. It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't, boom, instantly happen. Now, I've been around the cowboy ministry world since 1982, so I can usually work into things and details, and, and the Lord has blessed me, and I've been able to go through and by the power of the Holy Spirit and through and by His grace and mercy and, and goodness that I've been able to minister at times and been asked to come and minister at times that I haven't laid a lot of foundation, but the foundation was there and, and the, the Holy Spirit had put the things together and, and different things that had lined up to get this accomplished. But if you want to be in a rodeo ministry, get in the rodeo world, get to know the rodeo world, get to know the people that are a part of the rodeo world and go out and make uh, your presence known. Now, to start with the rodeo ministry is like any ministry. I'm talking about high school, little britches, any youth rodeo ministry, any professional rodeo ministry. You're going to have to get a part of that industry to be a part, to go in and do the Lord's work as, as you should be. So, so don't be afraid to go do it. Don't be afraid to step out and do it. Spend some time, dedicate yourself, commit yourself, and pray, 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 and then go do it. Now, you got to remember that that... It is, it is very important to go in the confidence of the Holy Father and be prayed up and studied up and know what you're doing. Realize what you're doing. Spend some time. When I showed horses professionally, before I entered in very many classes, I went to see what was going on. And I went to see what was winning. And I went to go do that even better. And that's the point. That's what you do. And uh, I was so blessed to be able to do that a much bunch and it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun but uh, that's the side point it's a whole lot more fun to serve the lord so information on the rodeo associations you can get them online go online get their schedule get to contact people and if you can 
work out a time to meet with the show secretaries, the rodeo secretary, the stock contractor, these folks. Uh, like I say, you're going to have to spend some time and develop some some uh, some real uh, relationships so that they know who you are. They know you're genuine. They know you're not going to be here this week and the next week. Who knows? Uh, where's our chaplain? I can't find anybody to open with prayer. Uh, uh, that won't cut it. So if you're going to dedicate yourself to radio ministry, go do it. Do it right. Do it for the master. Okay. When you get this information offline, then... We have uh, uh, introductory letters uh, at our headquarters. I can uh, uh, scan them and email them to you, or I can mail them to you, and you can sign your name and fill them out and and, uh, uh, make an opening contact. It's not the best, but it gives you an opportunity. And it also adds a little uh, authority to your program, a little uh, uh, more than just walking in, just off the street. They know Cowboys of Christ. They've been around... If they've been around the cowboy world very long, they've heard of Cowboys of Christ. So, so you're not walking by yourself. You're not, not be, uh, introduce, uh, inventing a new wheel, and which is the reason we go in uniform. Here I am trying to get the right. T- here we go. Uh, I'm sorry. The things are backwards on the screen. But anyhow, you go and do the Lord's work. So, so we have the introductory letters and you go do it. Now, dress the part. Go with your Cowboys for Christ shirt on with your chaplain buckle on. Look like a cowboy, a rodeo type person. Uh, uh, cowboys can start a f- a spot a fake in a minute and they're not interested in listening to what a fake's got to say. It just That's just it. That's it. So dress the part, be the part, but look the part. Look the part. Uh, in, uh, after you've made these contacts and everything, get in there early. Uh, get in there early, early afternoon. Go in the morning when the stock contractor and all these things are getting the stuff together. Meet and talk to the people. Get to know them a little bit. Uh, I personally have have uh, found that if you can get with the rodeo uh, uh, bullfighters and the rodeo clown, if you can make a relationship with them, that helps a bunch. And some of them are a little different, but we're a little different. So, so you may have to work with that a little bit. Pray your way through it. Step out in faith. Always introduce yourself. You got your shirt on, you got your belt buckle on, but introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dave Harvey, a chaplain with Cowboys of Christ. I'm here to have prayer with the guys before they ride, and I would absolutely be uh, blessed to, to open up with prayer if you want me to, and I'll certainly have devotions, uh, short devotions before too, and Cowboy Church behind the shoots. Easy, simple. You've already, you've laid out the plan to start with. So then all of a sudden, they know who you are. All of a sudden, they know what your object is. All of a sudden, well, let's see what he's got. Let's see if he'll do it. So that's then it's up to you. Be prepared to do whatever you ask. They say, man, I don't have anybody to help with the shoot gate. Can, can you lend us a hand? We're, we're one man short. Jump in there and do it. You just got a, an invitation to be a part of them. What do you do when you're a part of them? Then you start ministering. Then you, oh, well, you're the chaplain. Go up there and I start with prayer. Uh, we don't need to read that prayer. Go, go, go have prayer. So that's how you build those relationships and that's how you do it. Always, always, always go behind the chutes and have prayer with, the, with the, the boys before they ride. And if you can, try to get the barrel racers together. You'll have to work out. The, there's different schedules at different rodeos. You'll just have to uh, to be ready to, to work your schedule with them. And uh, so, but you got to be early. The, the, uh, the, you're going to stand there and watch the grand entry? You've lost it. You should have been behind the shoots uh, ministering to the boys back there for, uh, before. Long time before. I always have a good supply of Christian ranchmen, the Gospel of John booklets, and and uh, any tracks you want to. The entry fees are paid. It's a good one for the rodeo ministry. And have them with you and hand them out. Now, you're not only ministering to the boys that ride and the, and the girls that compete in their uh, 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 different uh, events, but you're also ministering to all the people that are make it up. You got the the boys running the shoots. You got the uh, the the stock uh, handlers. You got family members. You got all these other people. And if you will go make contact early with them, introduce yourself. Let them know what you're going to do. I'm going to have Cowboy Church behind the shoots before the rodeo. I would really appreciate if you come and join in with us. And you go see the rodeo clown and the and the bullfighters. And if you can get them, the other guys will come. Because see, most of the people realize they're going to save my neck. I better be there. 
If they're coming, I'm coming. Now, sometimes, like I say, they're a little different. Sometimes you may have to have to spend a little time uh, proving who you are before it'll happen. But if you'll spend the time, it'll pay off. And what are you doing? You're serving the Lord. You're serving the Lord. You're serving the Holy God. Go serve Him and touch lives for Him. Always introduce yourself. I'm a chaplain with Ava, uh, with Cowboys of Christ. Remember to do that. Remember to put that chaplaincy forward. That is a uh, is a position, uh, uh, a title, uh, a recognized uh, situation, recognized position that needs someone to fill it, and you're filling it. You're you're filling the job. So do do it if possible. If possible, now try to make contact with the with the cowgirls that are doing the barrel racing and any other event. Get them, let them know that well, you would like to have great group prayer with them. It takes a little while to build this up, but you are supposed to be the one doing the, the ministry work. You're the one that's supposed to be doing uh, this job. So go out and develop those relationships and do it. Like I say, we have an introductory letter. I have a form set up. You can uh, let me know and I can put your name on there or you can put your name on there and go ahead and, and pass it out to everybody. Let them know who you are so that you have that. That's the reason you have your photo ID card so that you'll have it. I want to read this a little bit. This is our uh, 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 bullfighter gatekeeper commitment to the rodeo uh, stock. Listen to this. I, chaplain, so-and-so, have promised as a child of the Most High God, to worship and serve the Holy Father, accept and proclaim the Holy Son, be filled and directed by the Holy Spirit. And it is an honor to be a cowboy or a cowgirl chaplain, or just is an honor to be a chaplain today. And I'm here to share the God, good news of Jesus Christ. I'm here to pray with you before you uh, ride, before you compete. And I'm here to listen. You have a problem? Let's talk. You, you want to share a little bit about some of your life. And if once you get to know them and they get to know you, real believe me, they're living a real wide world away from that show, show rodeo grounds, that show grounds. So they have situations in their life that they would love to have prayer there too. There is a time for everything. Ecclesiastes 3, 1. There's a time for everything, a season for every activity under heaven. So there's a time for rodeo. But there's also a time for real life rodeo outside of the rodeo arena. And they're experiencing these real life situations and they need the Lord. They need prayer to carry them through these valleys and trials and tribulations, whatever they're going through. And they would appreciate your help, especially someone that's genuine. And I love it when somebody called me up and I've got a few peaks that call me up. Said, Dave, I just want to call up for prayer. They will come to you on that rodeo grounds and say, I'm glad you're here because I need prayer. And that's what you're there for. That's when you know you're, you're doing your job. Listen to this. What about the bulls of life, the trials, the sorrows, the heartaches, the stress and strain, and no bullfighter to help or to run interference? What about the barrel races of life when no one to set up the knockdown barrels? No one to guard the gate. No one to uh, be the gatekeeper. And no one to, to uh, be there as uh, running the time clock. You just may feel alone, not only in the rodeo arena, because you're competing by yourself, but you may feel alone outside in the rodeo arena of life. And that there is someone who will be the bullfighter for you in everyday life. There's someone that will be the gatekeeper. There's someone that will be the barrel setter in real life. And that someone is Jesus Christ. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about that someone who will do that for you. The bullkeeper, uh, the bullfighter, the gatekeeper is Jesus Christ in our real life. And you have him here for a reason. You need him there for a reason. The office and work of a chaplain is very dear to my heart. I'm here to be a helper for you in your rodeo of life, as well as you're competing in a rodeo here today. Let them understand who you are. Let them realize who you are. Let them realize your dedication and commitment to be a representative, an ambassador, a servant of the Holy God, and help them through their trials and tribulations. And I 
absolutely no. As you talk to these folks, I was at a rodeo ministering and a young bull rider came up to me and we were chatting a little bit. And he just lost his brother. I don't know the circumstances. I was able to have prayer with him. But I could tell you right now, he was going through a tough time. I didn't even get the information of what the timeline was because it wasn't important. My importance was to share the love of Jesus Christ with him and help him carry him through this because evidently they had rodeoed some together. What happened? Automobile accident? Rodeo accident? I don't know. But the, I realized instantly that this young man needed a, a touch from the Holy God. And I was there to help him carry him through that moment in his life, which was a tough moment for him. So the, these things will come up. So always be ready. Be the bullfighter. Be the, the gatekeeper uh, to these people that are reaching out. Some of them have no other spiritual uh, a connection in life. Some of them have none other at all. They have nobody but you. And the Lord has sent you to fill that slot. The Lord has sent you not only, not only to carry him through these, these uh, bull rides and barrel races, knock down barrels and, and uh, uh, scrambling to get out from under that bull, but, but they need somebody to help them through their everyday walk. They need somebody to help them through that. So they need that. But let me tell you, folks, our focus is to lead them to Jesus Christ the Savior, the Savior, the eternal Savior. That's our focus. So we do all these things to minister them, to help them walk in to the presence of the Holy Father and the presence of the Holy Son with, with the Holy Spirit moving them forward in their life as a child of the eternal King. That's our choice. That's that's the, the choicest of, the, of our, our work in the rodeo ministry or any other ministry. Lead them to the Savior. Lead them to the Savior. Talk to them. How, how are you doing? You know, you're having some tough times. Really tough times. I understand that. And we're going to pray about that. But how is your walk with the Lord? Do you know Him as your Savior? Are you, are you comfortable with, with, the, with uh, seeking Him on your own? I said, I'm, going to, I'm going to be with you right here seeking. But, but if you're His child, you can go to Him anytime. And I would like to make it very... Uh, sure, assurance in your, uh, give you this assurance that you know him as your Lord and Savior and you can go to him anytime. But we're going to go to him right now and I want you to know something. If I pray for you here today, I'm going to remember you tomorrow. So I'm going to pray for you tomorrow too. This is not just a one day prayer. This is a prayer. And that's a commitment. And this is something you do. You remember those people in prayer and then you lift them up the next day or the next day and that night, next morning, Lift them up in prayer again. Because that, that as you bring them before the throne of grace, the Holy Spirit will quicken their mind. That chaplain had prayer with me yesterday. Oh, that made me feel better. Must be praying for me today because I really, really am feeling it now. That's, that's ministry, folks. That's ministry. That's a joy of serving the Holy Savior. That's a joy of knowing the Master. So, rodeo ministry. Here's your little guidelines. You dress the part. You look like it. You look like a rodeo person and you go in and act like one because you want to be one of them to minister to them. You arrive after you've established all these relationships, after you've got everything set up, you arrive at least two hours before the, uh, the not before the performance, but two hours before they, they usually normally start coming in to, to, uh, to uh, get ready. Uh, most of those... Uh, Rodeo contestants are coming in there two hours before. So that means you get to be there four hours before because you got to be there before they get there because then uh, you're already there. Oh, oh there's a chaplain over. I'm going to go and speak to him. <laughs> you just got it. Hey, hey, you were here last rodeo. Man, I appreciate your prayer. Then you're building relationships. So at least two hours before any other contestants gets there. If they spent the night there before, <laughs> you know what you got to do. I'm just kidding. Get there early. Uh, always volunteer to start your rodeo with prayer. Always establish the fact that you're going to have cowboy church behind the chutes before they ride and invite everyone there. And that time varies. That time can vary from early afternoon to late afternoon. Uh, it You're going to have to work your time schedule. Uh, I know that I've had some rodeo uh, 
Chaplains that have done it. Uh, let's say the radio started at uh, performance started at seven thirty or eight. Then they'd usually have a service about five six. Uh, no, they'd have it early in that five thirty or six five five thirty, and uh, and all your contestants are there usually by then. At least some late folks that come in, but they'll learn. Hey, he's having Cowboy Church. I'm gonna come early next time. Uh, go behind the shoots and pray with the boys and watch your schedule. You cannot observe. You cannot be a spectator. At the rodeo. I go to minister. I do not watch the rodeo. I go to minister to the people there. That's my mindset. I have, I don't watch, I normally don't, never even watch the rodeo. I go to minister to them. I go there to serve the Lord. I, that's all I go. And I go to have prayer with the guys that ride the rough stock. Then I go in later and have prayer with the guys that ride the bulls. Uh, then I, but I got my schedule. So way before the grand entry, you need back here behind the chutes. And that's when you have your, your little devotion behind the shoots and prayer, and uh, and if you can, sometimes it's a it's a chore to try to get the girls together on the barrel racing. But if you get some friends with some of their family members and tell them you're going to have prayer, then they'll spread the word and they'll come around and and they'll line up around and you can have prayer. I've done it; it'll work. But you got to dedicate yourself and commit yourself and go do it. Uh, I always introduce yourself as I'm a chaplain with Cowboys of Christ. And suddenly, Cowboys of Christ is known. Oh, Cowboys of Christ, okay. Uh, you will uh, instantly be recognized. Uh, and uh, your goal, remember your goal, is to have Cowboy Church either uh, sometime during the day, the rodeo. You can have it, uh, if there's a lot of people camping there on the grounds, you can have it in the morning. It doesn't matter. See what the schedule is. But c commit yourself to try to establish that time for the uh, uh, Cowboy Church and establish it. So that's your guidelines. That's your step. If you need help, please call the headquarters. Uh, our number is on our website, 817-236-0023. Our, our email, email me at dave at cowboysforchrist.org. And if we can help you with anything, if you need supplies, you know how to re reach out to me. So God bless you and God use you greatly. And, uh, and be the bullfighter. Be the gatekeeper that they need. These young folks, all the folks in the rodeo world, be the representative that the Lord needs you to be and that they need. And God bless you as you go.